welcome to my channel, long time no talk. I will actually be explaining what's been going on in another video. Clearly there's so much that has been going on, especially today. Today is February 8th and it was a very important day for me. It involves literally my life. Um, but like I said, that'll be in a separate video and I'll explain why I had to be off for a couple of months. Today's video is very exciting. And you can tell from the title, we got an Apple product. This isn't a very impromptu purchase, but it is the 2021 MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. Oh my gosh. This is actually the base model. This is the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. Like I've said before, it has 16 gigabytes of unified memory and 512 gigabytes of solid state drive storage. I'm very excited. I was thinking of getting a new MacBook Pro. If you're not new to my channel, you know that last year I unboxed the 2020 MacBook Pro with the latest Intel chip before M1 came out. I love that thing, but I always had an issue with it. The fan would constantly turn on even if I was like on Google Chrome. Like it wasn't up to par on what it should have been. And I spent just as much money on that laptop than I did with this one and it wasn't performing well. Like even if I had like one tab or two tabs on Google Chrome, the fans would turn on. So that's what led me to get my 24 inch M1 pink iMac, which I love that thing. That thing is my baby. That is like my ride or die machine. I love it. But I wanted to get the new laptop as well because because with this news that I have, it's just that I'm gonna be able to travel a lot more. And um, I am planning to not be home for a month. Hopefully in July, I'm not 100% sure. There's like no definite plans, but I am planning to not be around for a month or two because of everything that's been going on. Like I said, it's good stuff, but I needed a laptop that I can use while I'm traveling. Like I have an iPad. Um, I actually did an iPad mini unboxing, but I never uploaded it. So if you want me to upload the iPad mini unboxing, just let me know. I actually got that around Christmas time. I heard all about the new 2021 14 inch MacBook Pros and the 16 inch. I was thinking of getting a 16 inch, but that thing is too heavy. First of all, it's not travel friendly and <laughs> I remember my first MacBook Pro ever was a 15 inch. That was my first Mac ever, first Apple computer. And I remember that just being heavy and not my thing. I also need a computer that is really, really fast. And also I just wanted it because sometimes, like I said, as much as I love my iMac, I don't want to constantly sit at a desk. Sometimes I don't feel well, you know, I work all day. I work 11 hours a day, so I don't want to be sitting at a desk when I get home. I want to relax, have my feet up, all that stuff, but mainly this computer is for traveling. Hey guys, my battery just died, so if the angle looks a little different, I apologize. And this is just also just a gift to myself. And you'll understand what I mean gift when I post this life update and a vlog that is relevant to the life update. So again, this is the base model. I'm just super excited to test it out. First impressions of the box. Lovely, typical Mac box. Gorgeous picture. And it has the little tab. I would also wanna say this. I know how expensive Apple products are. And I bought this and I buy all of my devices with my own money. So I don't want anybody in the comments saying, oh, she's so spoiled, blah, 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 blah. I work really, really hard to be able to afford these things for myself. I will say that this laptop box is heavy. It is a lot heavier. But I'm also very excited to see the features that we got back. Does anybody else get nervous when they do their own unboxings because you only have one time to get it right? Oh, it's so nerve wracking. What? Really? My tab just came off. Oh, this is like the worst MacBook Pro unboxing ever. Like literally, I tried to pull the tab and it just didn't work out. 
Ugh, that's so sad. Oh, wait. It doesn't give the same effect, but I was able to get, get it out. I was able to rip it. This is really the worst MacBook Pro or any type of Mac unboxing ever. That was kind of sad, but whatever. This is the box without the plastic. Beautiful. And this thing's already opening. I have to put this like on my lap. Come on. Oh, oh God. I will say this. The box is actually thicker. No wonder why it's heavier. I don't think anybody's mentioned this, but the laptop box itself is thicker. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's thicker right here. I think that's why it also feels a little heavier. Here is the computer. So I got the silver model. I'm not a big fan of the space gray, to be honest. Um, I'm just more of like a classic silver girl. And also the wrapping from the MacBook is actually very interesting. Uh, where the Apple logo is, I'm not sure if you're able to tell on camera, but there's a circle. That's never happened on a MacBook that I have had before. I've never seen that. I don't know if it's new this year. So we're just gonna take the computer out of the box. Oh my God. Oh. And that is a little beefy. We're gonna go with what's inside the box first. So you get your standard paper, paper saying welcome to your MacBook Pro and all of that. And the Apple stickers, you guys, but this year they are black. Holy shit, that's awesome, that's clean. That's really clean. I was so excited that I got red and rose gold stickers for my iMac and I actually kept them. And I'm very excited that they chose to do black for the MacBooks this year. Very excited. So we'll put all the paperwork away because nobody really needs the paperwork. Does anybody really read the paperwork? I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys read the paperwork because I'm not that type of person. I just go through it just to look at the Apple stickers. And then this is the power brick. This is, since this is the base model MacBook, this is a 67 watt, not the 96. 96 is the bigger one that comes with the 16 inches. And if you wanted to upgrade this, it was like $20 more, but I don't really need 96 watt. 67 is fine for me. Also, you know, if I'm using this at home, if I'm like chilling in my house, like anywhere in my house, I can always just go back into my bedroom and use my iMac, so really it's not a big deal. Ooh. Everybody's saying that this year it's different, the power brick. I don't notice a difference. Maybe I just didn't pay that close attention. Didn't pay that much attention to my previous MacBook, but oh well. It has like a, like a plasticky smell. Yep, so it has USB-C, and this year it's very, very exciting. They brought back MagSafe for the laptops. I am so excited. MagSafe is just ultimate, like, old school Mac vibes before. Sorry about the interruption. My brother called me. Just a lot has been going on today. A lot of good stuff. So, I apologize for the interruptions. So like I was saying before, they have brought MagSafe back to the MacBooks. I think it's gonna come back to the MacBook Air this year. I'm not 100% sure, but from what leaks, like I've read from they saying that it is coming back to the MacBook Air, which is great. This is like, the Mac is back. The Mac is completely back. It is awesome. I have MagSafe for my iMac and it is awesome. I love MagSafe because even though it's a magnet, it's very, very strong and very sturdy. Like you can trip over the wire and you won't break it. So I've noticed that it provides a much faster charge than just a regular USB-C. I'm really happy that MagSafe has come back. And this year, like for my iMac, the wire is actually ribbed. The wire is actually braided, not ribbed. I'm so stupid, but it is braided like my iMac and it is, more of like a silver bluish color. I wouldn't call it like straight up silver, but it is, has like a bluish tint to it. 
and it's it's a standard length the MagSafe and also what I like about MagSafe which I did mention earlier is that it lights up so when it's orange it's charging and when it's green that means it's completely charged so that's always good that is the cord and now guys it is time for the MacBook first impressions like I've said it is a little beefy it's not as heavy as you would think because now it's gone back to the square model nice and clean so as you can see straight from the back here they actually have macbook pro engraved which i think is so cool i think it was engraved also on the bottom when i got my first macbook i'm not 100 percent sure but i think that's how it was too it is square it's more squared off because apple is going to more square like their phones their ipads everything's going to be square so that's why it feels a little bit heavier too. But also why it feels heavier is that we've got all of the ports back. All of the fabulous ports, including an SD card slot. Thank you so much, Apple. We don't like those dongles. We're not about that life no more. Of course, I have to use dongles for my iMac, but that's okay. At least I can have them plugged in all the time and I don't have to fiddle around when traveling and then forgetting that I left my dongle at home and having to buy another one. So this is great. I am so excited to use this. And it is beautiful. It's such a beautiful color. A beautiful pearly white silver. Okay, so we're gonna open it up. Ooh. That sound is amazing. So we're gonna pull this off. There is nothing more satisfying than unboxing an Apple product. So like I said, I got the 14 inch and it's the whole screen. There is a notch, but there is a way to have the notch not there, but it looks like it's the 13 inch, but I don't mind the notch. It doesn't really bother me. Once I'm focused on the computer, I don't really notice it. So now it's saying hello in all the different languages. So I'm gonna do English. Once the laptop is open, it's not that heavy. It's when it's closed when it's heavy. And then my password for my Wi-Fi. so I will be back in a moment because I don't remember it. So it's asking for my Apple ID. Okay, I agree. They asked me to put my verification code and I'm definitely gonna change the background. There is nothing like a new computer. So iCloud's being set up. I am so excited that we have the full function keys and not the touch bar. I personally never had a problem with the touch bar. I thought it was okay, but I prefer actually having physical keys. But I will say it looks a little naked right here. I'm not gonna lie. I like it that it's all black. It is very sleek, very modern, very clean. Apple Pay. I love having Apple Pay set up on all my devices. It's so much easier. Okay guys, I apologize for the lighting, but it is getting dark out. It's like almost 4.30. I have finished setting up the MacBook. I still have to download Google Chrome, but this is my background. It's the same background. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God, that gate almost gave me a heart attack. Oh my God. This is the same background as on my iMac. It just looks a little different because the, my iMac is 24 inches. This is 14 inch. But yeah, I think it's really cute. It has my favorite things on it. I have to download Google Chrome and Origin because if you guys don't know, I love gaming. And I have found gaming on my iMac amazing. Like it is so crisp, so clean, so fast. It doesn't lag, and I have a lot of mods on my game, so having that as well has never delayed my iMac, so, and that is just with the regular M1 chip, so I'm very excited to see what this can do with gaming, because it is a better chip than the original M1. So anyway guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Again, I am so thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for every single day lately. God has been very, very good to me, and honestly, I just couldn't be more grateful, like I said, for God, for you guys, for my family, 
all the support I've had. So stay tuned for the next video. It will be my life update. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.